Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and welcome to my new video. So in this video, what I'll be doing is briefly going over how I created my latest car photo which you see in front of you here. Now, I'm doing this because I uploaded this onto my Facebook photography page a couple of days ago and quite a few people liked it and I got a few comments asking if I could make a full tutorial on it uh, similar to this photo here which I did a brief video on a few months ago. Um, now, this isn't going to be a full tutorial by any means because that would just take way too long and uh, there's a lot involved in a few different programs. So what I thought I would do is start this video off by showing you all the original files and talking about the different programs I used and then what I'll do is I'll cut it and then I'll record me re-editing the photo and it'll all be sped up just so you can kind of see the process and the different layers and everything I do. And then I might come back in at the end and just briefly explain my different Photoshop layers. Um, so this is probably the closest thing I can do to a tutorial. Um, however, I did say I would make a proper tutorial at some point, just not really at the moment when I'm still getting used to these kinds of photos. Okay, so let's take a look at our different files. So these are all edited in Lightroom, um, just really basic edits, so contrast and clarity and sharpness and a bit of exposure and everything like that. And um, for these different photos, it is easiest to take a background plate and then one with the car on it. So the reason you do this is because the next program I'm going to show you, which is called Virtual Rig, you use it to blur the road and give it that look as if the car's speeding through. Um, so this is the layer that will blur in just a moment. Then moving on, we've got our car layer. So what you'll see me do in the video is cut this car out and then paste it into this photo after I've blurred it and that pretty much makes it easier for you since you don't have to try and maneuver the blur around the car you can just kind of paste the car on top of it and drop it in so the third and final photo that I'll be using is this one here which is just the top half of one of my real estate photos where the sky looked really cool one afternoon so I'm going to take the sky and uh, put it into this photo here since you can see it was all blown out and it wasn't an interesting sky anyway okay so I'm going to jump right into it I hope you enjoy the video and let me know what you think Thanks.
Hey guys, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. So as I said at the start of the video, I'll very quickly go over all of my different Photoshop layers and quickly go over what each of them are doing to the overall image. So before I get into that, you can see there's a couple of things that are different to this photo than the original one, obviously because I wanted to do this one a lot quicker. Uh, so a couple of differences are this pile of dirt here I completely edited out in uh, my final one instead of just editing out the pieces on the road which you see there. Um, and also this fence in the background is completely gone in the final one. And this tree looks a whole lot better in uh, the previous version. Um, but apart from that, everything else is fairly similar, so let's quickly go over the different layers. Um, so starting at the bottom here is obviously the original layer. And uh, from there what I did was just did some retouching. So if I flick that on and off, you can just see there's uh, a few things up here on the water tower and these rocks on the ground. And that is pretty much all I had to do for retouching. Uh, so moving on, after I did that, I imported it over into Virtual Rig, which is the program I used to blur the road. And from there, I blurred the road and imported the car from the secondary photo. Now I did a very silly thing and I accidentally merged the car to the blurred layer, um, which slowed me down further up in the layers here where I could have just copied the mask over instead I had to redo them. Um, but yeah, the next layer was blurring it in virtual rig and then um, using the pen tool to cut around the car and uh, drop the car onto the photo there. Okay, so the next layer then is uh, spinning the wheels. Uh, so as you saw me do, I just used the wheels from my other virtual rig photo um, just because it'd be quicker for this video and I actually used those wheels in uh, the original one too just because I didn't have another copy of the wheels spinning and I didn't want to redo them. Uh, so from there what I did was applied the lighting as you can see here if I toggled that on and off. And if you're interested on how to create these light bursts here, I've actually made a tutorial for it. So I'll put the link in the description and you can check that out if you wanted to know. Um, so from there what I did was applied some adjustments. So looking at these one by one, the first one is a curves adjustment which gives it that kind of faded or vintage look. Uh, so if you look at the shadows closely down here, you can see it kind of... Uh, removes detail from the shadows and it gives it that little bit of a vintage look. Uh, from there I applied a levels adjustment which is basically just doing a little bit of split toning. So blue to the shadows and uh, yellow to the highlights. And from there I just added a little bit of vibrance and took away a tiny bit of contrast. The next thing I wanted to do was desaturate the car because if we take a look at it it's got a very slight blue tint on it. Uh, so just by applying a saturation filter set to a negative value of 45 and then painting of the car it kind of just makes sure the car is exactly white like it's meant to be uh, From there I corrected the perspective uh, Just using the distort transform tools and to make it all straightened up and then the final thing I did was replace the sky um, So the sky is just a photo from a real estate photo I did which I mentioned at the start of the video and I just thought it looked a whole lot better than the sky that was there at the moment uh, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If it did, be sure to hit that like button to help my channel out. And hopefully sometime soon I'll be able to make a proper virtual rig tutorial when I get a little bit better at it. Um, for now, if you'd like to keep up to date with all my photos, you can follow me on my Facebook page with the link in the description. Or you can check out my Instagram page if you want more regular posts and probably posts that will happen uh, before Facebook. Um, I've only recently started Instagram and I've gotten quite a few people from here following me already which I'm very happy about so thank you very much to everyone. Um, but if you'd like to keep up to date I'd definitely recommend following my Instagram since I have been posting every day or every second day for the past two months or so now. Um, however, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.